things. Steph, you took that first shot from quite a bit of distance. Was that something you just wanted? I was choreographed since like yesterday. I was just going to shoot it up. Chris and Chase center the right way. Uh, obviously, they want to air ball, but I thought it was fitting that uh, take a wild shot like that, get get everybody excited. What, what did you think about the backdrop? About the just the way it played? You didn't, you didn't know. I mean, what would you think Chase center played like tonight? It's still weird. I mean, you're familiar to or you're used to you know certain sights and sounds and. Just routine, even from pulling up to the you know to the parking deck and to our locker room and all that type of stuff, and you know get out to the floor and you want to feel like it's it's normal, but it's not, and it's going. You know, we got two more preseason games to get a little bit more familiar before you know the twenty fourth, but um, it's beautiful. It's got a you know a lot of uh, potential to create an amazing environment, amazing home court advantage, and so. Uh, excited about the the possibilities and uh, again just getting used to it. We need some reps and uh, tonight was a good step. Steph, on that note, have you, what sort of things have you had to change to your routine because of the difference of the arena? There's nothing really changing. It's just you know you again you just have a certain flow to everything um, and. You kind of just got to go through through the reps a couple times. The only thing for me is just that tunnel shot, which was fun. I'm going to figure that out. But uh, other than that, uh, from a basketball perspective, it's we have everything we need here um, in terms of you know pre pre game kind of prep and um, and obviously having you know when we practice here we're. Uh, we we have all the bells and whistles, you know. We need to get get ready for games, and and I think you know as fans even get used to Chase Center, the the energy and the the noise and you know whatnot will get will get you know comparable to Oracle if if not louder. So excited about that. Eric Pascal was talking about getting that taste of game speed, checking in, and now he's guarding Anthony Davis, like the, the wide-eyed moments there. Do you remember what that was like back in your, your younger years, getting a taste of that and thinking, okay, this is this is my life now? For sure. I had a moment <clears throat> my rookie year. We played at the Forum, and I guarded Kobe. Um, and that's like one of those moments that you have where you're like, I'm in the NBA right now, and uh, you try to – keep a straight face, but you, it's okay to have those kind of like, you know, big eyed moments where it's, you know, you're proud of yourself for making it to that, to that point. You're, you're amazed by who you see on the other side of the floor, but at the end of the day, um, you know, you want to compete and, and, and improve yourself and, and every rookie has to go through that, you know, all those different types of emotions. So, um, even just wearing a warrior Jersey, you know what that means now. So, Pretty pretty special for all those guys, and and hopefully they feel comfortable, you know, as soon as possible, because they're all going to be impactful and and uh, have to contribute for us to win. Steph, what'd you think of LeBron and AD and Dwight and some of the newer guys on the Lakers and how they kind of look this year? I mean, a lot still to, to to be seen, but it is it is weird seeing you know, I mean, one they're a pretty big lineup, but seeing those those three guys you know on the same team and in different uniforms, so. Um, the West is stacked all the way up and down, and we're going to have that feeling out process with a lot of different teams as we face them for the first time. Um, we should know the Lakers really well after this preseason schedule, though, for sure. <laughs> so that's it. Steph, what was it like sharing the floor with D'Angelo for the first time? I know you guys both kind of struggle from the field, but uh, what sort of hey, kinks? Man, why you got to throw that in there? It's the first <laughs> preseason game. Yeah. What, what sort of kinks still need to be you know worked out in terms of the offense? Just – Rhythm and uh, we, I think for the most part, it's it's for getting you know getting him used to when we don't call plays, kind of our second nature, our reads, spacing, uh, and just overall expectations. What I told him, <clears throat> there's nothing he needs to change about the way that he plays. Um, there's some amazing strengths that he has in terms of when he has the ball in his hands, the way he sees the floor, the way he can. Get to his spots, you know. Either get to the rim, look for a shot, you know, play make for other other people. Um, but then our kind of secondary offense is just, you know, make the reason go, um, and just for the most part, don't stop moving, and good things will happen. So, uh, and then defensively, we'll all continue to get better, continue to communicate. Uh, 
it's a little ugly out there in the first half, but we'll 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 get better on that end. And, uh, you know, should be off and running. We all know Jordan Poole shoots the ball, likes to shoot the ball, but did you like his aggression tonight? And I think eleven shots, and certainly seemed very comfortable shooting the ball. He can shoot it. He should he should continue to shoot it, take good shots, work within our offense, but. Uh, you know, we need spark plugs, you know, all up and down the roster and uh, guys who play to their strengths. You know, he, he can shoot the ball. He works at it. Um, and he's not shy. So we definitely, you know, want to want to kind of lean into that, want him to feel comfortable on the floor. And uh, you can always reel people back in. You can't really, you know, tell a guy who doesn't have confidence to just get confidence. Um, that you're either born with it or, you, or, or not. So uh, for him to just... Continue to take good shots, be aggressive. You know, feel like he can definitely help us win out there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.